Hi, it's me, Maki. Are you planning to come to Miyazaki in Japan? Or are you interested in Japanese culture? Then why don't you have an experience of tea ceremony at the local tea shop? The Japanese tea ceremony, which is also called Sado or Chado, is one of the traditional Japanese cultural activities that help people enjoy tea with wakashi, a traditional Japanese sweet. You can learn how to make a matcha tea as well as how to perform in an appropriate way when you drink it. I'm sure that it will be a wonderful memory of your trip in Japan. Okay, let's see how it goes. We are a little bit nervous. Even Japanese, the tea ceremony is a special occasion. Many Japanese don't know how to act at the tea ceremony. She said, Okashi o dozo. It means please have some sweet. Before drinking tea, eat the sweets first. Then pour the sweet and then take some sweet from the tray. Wow, they are so cute. It's difficult to choose. Okay, can you see it? They are so beautiful and cute sweets. It's Christmas time, so shop owner prepare all the things Christmassy. It's a wonderful mixture of Japanese and Western culture, isn't it? Can you see the ball? A snowman is on the ball. I will show you how to drink. Take a bowl with your right hand. Now the front of the bowl faces to you. It's not good manner for the tea ceremony to drink it from the front. So turn it clockwise twice, then drink. You can drink it three times or four times as you like. And then when you finish it, sip the rest of the tea. Okay, and then wipe the bowl with your finger where you drink. Then wipe your fingers with the paper you used for the sweets. And turn it back. Then put it on the table. Now it's time to look at the bowl. Look at its figure, shape, or design carefully. When you read down the bowl, turn it twice again to face the front to the owner or host, and then put it on the table. And then bow. Okay, that's it. Perfect. Now is the time to make tea by yourself. First, take chashaku, which is a teaspoon with your right hand. And say okashi o dozo, or please have some sweet if you have a guest. Then hold Natsume, the tea caddy, with your left hand. Then open the lid and put it on inside of the tray. Then take one and a half scoops of matcha tea powder. Then touch the bowl with your teaspoon to drop the rest of the tea powder. Then put the lid back, put the tea caddy back, and put the teaspoon back to the right side of the tray. Take a ladle and a full scoop of water from the kettle. But pour it only half of that. And then put the half back to the kettle. Okay, and Put the ladle back on the kettle. 
Take chasen, which is two whisk, and hold the bow from the top with your left hand. Then whisk the tea like making letter M O W. Faster is better, so it's easier to make it if you use your wrist. Okay, when you finish, make the Japanese letter NO, then take a whisk out of the bowl. Your tea is done now. When you serve it to a guest, take the bowl with your right hand and turn it twice to clockwise to face the front to a guest. Then put it on the table and bow. It's very nice. If you come with a group, then it's interesting to make the tea each other. If the bowl is back, take it with your right hand and put it on the left hand once, then put it on the tray. Then take a bow. Yes, it's all done. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Would you like to try it too? Here are the shop information. The shop is near the city hall or prefectural office. It's walking distance from most of the tourist hotels in downtown. For more information, check the below. Enjoy your stay in Miyazaki! And don't forget to subscribe my channel too! Thank you!